as you've heard, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 3, welcome to Zomburbia. In the last episode, we got started with day 10, and we cleaned up this whole gymnasium area a good amount. We also saw some crazy lava booby traps and plenty of other stuff going on, but we are five steps into this day, and we need to, of course, get some tactical reconnaissance as neat timely. So to do that, we'll just have to continue on. We're about to play level 400, which is quite the accomplishment. Pretty happy to get started with this one. So let's see how it goes. And I don't know if we currently have enough levels in the game. Well, there's a lot of walnuts. Okay, I guess it's for the landscaper zombie. But yeah, I don't know if we currently have enough um, levels in the game to like fully complete today's episode, but we'll just sort of go as far as we can. If we have to wait for like, you know, an update or something, then so be it. But for right now, I just want to get as far as we can with this. We'll put down some sunflowers and we'll see how it goes. All right, so first things first, of course, is we just want to make sure that we have all the sunflowers we need. Obviously with this walnut situation we got going on, that might buy us some time. We also have the cabbage pole, which we haven't seen in a little bit. So that's nice to see. For right now, it's just all about the sunflowers. It's just a normal difficulty level. See, so yeah, we should be good with maybe speeding things up, getting some snow peas here and there. I thought these walnuts in the back are simply just not gonna be very useful. So I might just dig them up straight away. Looks like we got a lot going on down here for whatever reason. All right, uh, okay, seems pretty good. I will get a walnut right here. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. I'm just trying to make sure that everything is dealt with as well as I can. Got it. Okay, here comes our first landscaper. He's gonna knock out that walnut in a moment here if I had to guess. Well, actually, maybe I can, ooh, just squash him. That seems much better. <laughs> much, much better. Ooh, we got the pigeon zombie over here, so that's why we have the cabbage pole, of course. But we're already on top of it. I put that snow pea in the wrong spot, but it's hardly a big deal. I'll just swap it with the cabbage pole over here. And yeah, we're moving pretty well already. More zombies are popping up, but at this point, I think we're sort of in a good setup. I wouldn't mind just adding more of those. And here come the Grapes of Wrath as we're waiting for the third flag to roll on in here. Seems like a pretty easy level to start things off with, and that's always good. Yeah, of course, last episode we got introduced to the Landscaper zombie, which was pretty intense. It's just a really tough new zombie to deal with, but the situations we've been given with it haven't been all that bad, but that's at least nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put that squash right there. We're gonna get rid of that, and actually, the squash wasn't even needed. Okay, there we go. That's pretty nice. It looks like we'll be able to just knock out this one bucket head zombie and finish off this first level, level 400. Quite the accomplishment, like I said before, to be able to get this many levels done in this game. I only get 55 coins for it, so that's always good. We need three more tickets to move forward with Nate. So let's see our next thing right over here, level 401. It's gonna have the Bong Choi and the Tangle Kelp waiting for us, so let's play this one. Wow, we got the lily pad here too, so I think I'll just get a setup like that. We'll do what we can. It, it's sort of very scattered what's, you know, watered here and what's not. But I just wanna get enough of the lily pads out to deal with um, getting sunflowers out for right now. I think that's the best move because of course the first zombie will be hit by a rake. So at least we'll have that dealt with. And of course the tangle kelp if, you know, some of the zombies pop up too soon. Luckily every, lane has at least one spot of water. So we should be able to defend against any zombie in any lane. And I guess, you know, the Tangle Kelp is gonna be a great defense against the, the uh, Landscaper zombie. Anything that knocks out a zombie in one hit is gonna be a warm welcome for the uh, offense against the Landscaper zombie. Okay, I do see you coming in. I'm just gonna put a bunk toy out there for now. Easy three points for our uh, league going on here. All right, get that there. And we're almost done with the second layer of sunflowers, but if I could maybe pea shooter back here. I'll probably still need a bong choy though, so I gotta be careful. So, boom, right there. Excellent. Let's get one more sun. There we go. And work on getting lily pads out in the back so we can get more pea shooters out there too. I think that'd be a good idea, but a lot of zombies popping up real fast. I might not have the opportunity I thought I did, especially with this, am I? Yeah, I can't quite reach that is the problem. Here, 
This is getting a little messy. I'm gonna get this here. I think the candy machine, yeah, might just get activated. Unfortunate, but not too much I can do about it. Just unfortunate unfortunate placement with the uh, stealth imp there. Couldn't quite make it work the way I wanted to, but time for more pea shooters then. Get that there. And I think, there we go, another pea shooter there. So with that candy machine gone, we do have to be pretty careful here. I feel like things can go south pretty quickly. But I will still speed things up because I think we're fine enough to make it work. I'll get that there. So we don't have a bong choy here yet. So let's, come on, there we go. And I guess maybe for these lanes, just get like a sunflower in front. Just something to keep that stuff a little bit more protected. That's what I want right now. Grapes of Wrath coming out. Yeah, that seems like overall a good idea. Sort of slow going at first, but we're, we're moving, we're moving. Okay, yeah, this is seeming like a pretty strong setup. Bong Choi Pea Shooter, pretty classic at this point, but also very reliable. I'll get that there, pick up some sun, and this should be the last of the zombies right here. Get through this bucket head, and boom, we win. All right, another stage, obviously this one a little bit more involved, but nothing we can't handle. Awesome. All right, we'll continue with that, 54 coins. We didn't even run into a landscaper zombie this time, I don't think. So we get, whoa, a bunch of prizes this time. 200 coins, a couple of power-ups there to start the levels off. Really good stuff. And speaking of which, how are we doing in the league? It looks like we almost have almost have enough to um, get to this next thing. Or maybe that's what we just got. I don't think so. Um, Cause it would have had a check mark next to it, right? Yeah, so we haven't quite gotten that, but we're very, very close to it. So I think we'll do that soon. Still have a lot to climb though, if I want to get to the top of gold league. Definitely a more involved league overall. But for this next level 402, keeping things a little bit simple with the sunflower pea shooter, bamboo shoot and tangle kelp. So how exactly do I do, want to do this one? I mean, obviously we'll start with sunflowers and move out from there. We just don't have too much, you know, things to complicate. It's just about getting some flowers and then following it up with firepower. So I definitely want to do that. Get our first zombie there, which is no big deal. It's not a hard mode level or anything. I think we'll be overall okay. I think a pea shooter should be able to deal with an imp, especially since the imp is slowed down in the water. Be a little bit more worried if that was the center lane. That doesn't have any water on it. Okay, so I still might. You know, boom, bamboo shoot just like that. Get that dealt with. Huge wave of zombies is approaching already, so this is where I think I wanna slow things down. A tangle kelp over here, because I see the situation going on. Um, maybe should have done that over here for the flag bearer zombie, because he's gonna get this candy machine activated when I'm not ready for it. Uh, maybe be able to knock him out? I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Doesn't look like it, so that's unfortunate. It's not a big deal though. We just set this up like this and we keep going. Yeah. Let's get some more so I can get more pea shooters out. I need at least one on each lane, of course. I'll probably be replacing sunflowers at some point, but for right now, this is fine. I think we're gonna speed things up again. Uh, sunflower, pea shooter. And then bamboo shoot time. Let's get that there. I wanna be careful with exactly where I put the tangle kelp. I wanna make sure wherever I put it is actually a good spot. I think right back here. I need to replace that sunflower for now. The Grapes of Wrath catching up a little bit too. You know what, I'm just gonna do that there. And really just start working on the bamboo shoots. Final wave approaching, we're doing a great job. Just wanna keep it that way. Another there, another over here and we are definitely in a good setup. I see this landscaper zombie. I wanna get rid of the other zombies first. There we go, then grab them, nice. All right, so far so good. I think we just won this level. So we're zooming through these levels pretty quick so far. That's always good to see. Long clear for 402 and we get 59 coins. Nice stuff. And it's lunchtime, so in this one, yeah, this was the league reward. We get 300 coins and one of each of those power-ups. Haven't used any of those in a long time, so it's good to like, you know, build that up. Okay, level 403 has two walnuts. 
which probably means we're gonna be dealing with some landscapers. We got the downward water currents here, which is not gonna be easy to deal with, but I'm guessing we wanna plop some of those walnuts onto those lily pads or something like that. This might not be an easy stage, but it gave us quite a few sunflowers to start with, so that's nice. We'll see how this one goes. I think for right now, I'm mostly going to ignore the water layers because it just seems like it'd be sort of a pain. Um, hmm. I think for right now, what would be best is just getting the sunflowers out, maybe speeding things up if we need to. Got it. Got that sun. The first imp is gonna get dealt with pretty quick, so let's just get a pea shooter behind it. And then a bong choy there, a walnut here. Seems like a good plan. And over here, we sort of got more coming in. Ah, not the spot I actually wanted to put that one at. Whoops. Okay, might actually be worth it to slow things down here for a second because it's heating up fast. Okay, so yeah. Let's get this one out here, dig that up, do this. Because you can see, here comes that landscaper. He's already ready and willing to give me a hard time. So I'm just trying to make this work. Uh, okay, oh, couldn't quite get the sunflower out there in time. What do we wanna do here? Because this one imp is popping up too and that's not so fun. I think he should get dealt with. It's gonna be close. Darn, okay, put this back here. This one imp, okay, I did not mean to press that. Whoops, should've just pressed that earlier. Darn, okay, it's fine. We should be okay because I'll just put this here there we go. And you should, no wait, no you're not. I thought you were gonna, sh you should eat the, the walnut there, but no, he ate the bong choy, darn. Okay, this is not looking so good anymore. It started really nice, but then sort of fell apart. But, you know, zombie is still taking damage. There's no landscaper zombies. So at least we have that going on. I think in the back here on these, I'm just gonna put more sunflowers. I think that's our best bet for right now. Another walnut right there. I need more sun as soon as possible. There's a lot that needs my attention. Yeah, I don't know exactly how I wanna go about this one, but I think I want a walnut here, a bong choy there, and somehow he's still getting chewed on. Okay, no, it's fine, it's fine. I know this other lane is a little bit scary at the moment but the Grapes of Wrath help out a ton. I'm just really trying to keep tabs on everything. It's not going the best. The Landscaper Zombie making everything real tough for us. Right now, I'm gonna put this down. And maybe just more sunflowers out here. Just wherever I can get them. Seems like a good idea. Another one out there. Okay, we're back in it. Things are going a little bit better now. Here comes that Landscaper. Just gonna put a sunflower right there. I'm a little bit worried about this whole group, so just anything to slow them down for a little bit while we're waiting for the walnut to come back. And a Gargantua, are you kidding me? Oh no, not good. Uh, definitely wanna deal with him any way I can. I think for right now, the best thing to do is just more pea shooters out there. Bong Choi's behind him, so that he just really has to take a beating. He's the last zombie here for sure. So if everybody just starts taking swings at him, I think that'd be pretty nice. There we go, oh, the walnut right there. He's definitely looking a little battered and bruised and that's enough to take him down. Crazy level. That one was a lot to keep up with. There were some dangerous spots for sure. And we get 133 coins for it, which is pretty darn nice. So that should be enough to do some tactical reconnaissance with Nate right over here. So for four tickets, let's do it. Space Ranger Nate, timely to command. Do you copy? I repeat, do you copy command? I've landed on a hostile planet of wonders, full of dangers unlike any cowboy astronaut has ever faced. Fear not, Command. I will not fail my mission to locate and infiltrate the hidden lair of the dastardly Dr. Zomboss. Nate, quit playing around. The, there are real traps out there trying to get, to get us. Focus. Disregard that noise, Command. That's just my fearful cadet. She has much to learn of our courageous ways. Continuing with my tactical reconnaissance, Space Ranger timely, over and out. All right, I don't know what that actually accomplished, but Nate's head is in the stars, Uncle Dave. Looks like making sure we're safe is up to us. Is your multi-tool detecting any more traps? According to my flabic lap, all indications are, um, that I forgot to install the Borg trap detector. Oh no. Suddenly, Dr. Zombos turns up the heat. That's not good. Whoa! Hold on, just out of nowhere, a sea of lava. Ah, the floor is lava. Space Command, the floor is lava. <laughs> Uncle Dave, we're stranded. 
Attention students of the mighty Zomboss Academy, it's time for your morning announcements. Surprise, the floor is lava. <laughs> oh no, this is dangerous. We need to listen to the announcements. That's all we're gonna do at a time like this. We gotta make an escape plan. We gotta survive. Not good. We got level 404 with the return of the lightning reed. That's at least nice to see. Oh my gosh, a lot going on here. And the big concern with this one, as I put the sunflower immediately in the wrong spot, is that there's not a lot of places to plant plants. <laughs> the, the water does not have a current at the least, but this is definitely gonna be tricky. Not a lot of space to work with here. So I think for right now, it's just, you know, of course, about getting some flowers out, some lychee out in the front would probably do us some good as well. But I could see this being a really tough level at first. So I'm just gonna do everything I can to survive this and we'll see how it goes. The first zombie, of course, will run into a rake. So for right now, I am fully focused on just getting these sunflowers out. Maybe a couple of lychee here and there when we really need it, since it's a lot more affordable than a lightning reed, but just trying to get that initial setup going, for sure. So, we're gonna get knocked out. The next zombie, yep, is popping up, and with it, I'll just do a setup like that, that should be good. One lightning read doesn't do much, but once we get a couple of them lined up, that's when things will get a whole lot easier. So I think for right now, if I could just get another set of three sunflowers down this way, and then boom, let's, I'm so sorry to do this to you so soon, little sunflower, but I need to dig you up, so we need that extra space. I don't think we'll be keeping this candy machine around for very long, maybe by the second flag I'll use it just because I really, like I said before, really need that extra space. A lot going on with this one, and we also have, oh my, a landscaper zombie to deal with here. That's actually really tough to the point where I might just put a sunflower out there to deal with yet. Do something like that. I need to earn up enough sun. I'm almost there to get another lightning reed just like this. Okay, that's a little bit of something. So I knew you were gonna do that, but now you're just a normal zombie, so you should get zapped through a lot easier, and then as soon as we can, boom, lychee right in front of you. Landscaper zombie in a stage like this is not gonna be easy to deal with, but I will do everything I can to make it work. Okay, in the meantime, more zombies are marching forward, but just about collecting sun and placing things where I can, when I can. So let's do this. And then I think in the back here, I want to get some bamboo shoots. I think that'd be a good idea. We have a lot of sun now. We're slowly building up more and more. There we go. The Grapes of Wrath doing their thing as well. And we're holding on pretty well, actually. I think we'll be able to keep the candy machine for this third final wave approaching. I'm guessing another landscaper zombie is due to pop up. Yep, looks like it right down there on the bottom. So grab all this stuff, put that down there instead. And actually, I think we got this level, yeah, completed pretty well. Turned out okay. I thought it was gonna be a lot tougher, and we made it through. So there's the lawn clear. We get another 53 coins. I'm definitely gonna wait to double it since we know we can get a ton more than just 53. Whoa, hey! Don't stand on the lava. I don't think they're supposed to be doing that. Not good. All right, well, let's play another level so that hopefully they can move off the lava. Looks like we have more lightning read action. Really happy to see that. Whoa, and it's, of course, raining. We get some plants right away. Okay, this is definitely gonna be a lot more involved. I immediately want to get put the sunflower in the wrong spot. But uh, definitely focus on getting the sunflowers on the puddles for now. We can always move things around later. This water doesn't have a current, but also we don't have uh, replacement lily pads. So some stuff could certainly be tough here if we're not careful. But we get a lot of extras to begin with. So I'm sure overall this is gonna be a tough level. I really wish it would show somewhere on screen if this was a hard or very hard level because I sort of just click through really fast and then totally forget if it is. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter either way. No matter the difficulty, I'm just gonna play my best, but it's still good to know. Okay, let's get a lightning read right there. And then definitely I want, I wonder, does this enhance? I don't think it would, but maybe, well, who knows. Let's get you there. Lots of zombies to zap around here, that is for sure. Do something like that. And that lychee already really busy at work here. I wanna dig up this sunflower and put that there instead. I think that's a better idea. 
We'll probably be replacing more sunflowers here soon enough, but if I can get them on all the ground lands, that way if the puddles spread around, we should be fine. Now a pigeon zombie is definitely a bit tougher to deal with. I wanna get some of the tangle kelp out sooner rather than later as well. I'm gonna do that there. And then maybe just more light sheet over this way. Something like that isn't so bad of an idea. I don't have too much for this top lane just yet, so I think the kingdom machine might get activated. Not too much I can do about it, so I might as well just activate it myself. Figure out what else we can do here. Let's see. Definitely lightning root right there. A sunflower on that puddle would do us some good. There we go. We're moving, we're making it work. As the second flag comes in, I just wanna maximize where the lighting reads are, maybe putting some in the water lanes or the, the puddle lanes, puddle spots, whatever you wanna call it. Right over here might not be so bad of an idea too. And definitely if I can, get a lychee on this spot right here just so that we can maybe get them stuck on the three point. There we go. And this is looking pretty good. I don't know if there's really too much more we can do here besides this letting it go, replacing some of these sunflowers with lightning reeds just for the sake of it, just for the extra firepower, and getting extra tangle kelp out once they reload. Got it. And it's the final way of approaching. I think we can zap away this uh, landscaper before he can do too much, but let's find out if that's really the case. And the gargantuar is coming in too. Might be worth it to slow things down and really think about this then. Uh, for right now, all I can really do is get more lightning reads out wherever I can get them. Can't put anything in front of him except for uh, Tangle Kelp at the moment. So I think if we were to get this here, oh, unfortunately that one imp uses one of them, but it does a lot of damage to the Gargantuar. Two Tangle Kelp does the job just fine. That lawn is clear. Excellent. A lot of coins, but not quite yet worth doubling, I don't think. And they are still in the lava. <laughs> okay, that means we need to get one more ticket to listen to these announcements. So let's keep it going. We got the snow pee this time. Whoa, hey, we're back at Begonia Boulevard. Haven't been here in a minute. This is pretty fun. I think I'll do, hmm, sunflower right there. Seems like a good idea. Definitely sort of a tough setup with all the places we cannot plant at the moment. But I think I'll just do this for now. And We'll see how it goes. I think I'll have to just dig up some flowers later on. We got the umbrella leaf here too. I think we'll probably want to start with snow pea. Those zombies are shuffling over sooner or later though, so I just want to be ready. Got it. And. Put that one right there. I'll speed up a little bit just to see. Okay, snow pea here for sure. Slow down that imp. It should be enough to knock him out entirely. Yeah, I think I'm just not gonna have to worry about uh, what point line the zombies are on, just because there's not enough space to really make that intuitive. And there's so much other stuff to worry about. Okay, I need another snow pea. Right there, we got the big mean bone zombies coming in. Not so happy about that, but if I can just get a little bit more sun. I can get a bong choy over there and punch out some of those guys. Very good. And the snow pea there. Excellent. Because we don't have any space for the cabbage pullets at the moment. And if, you know, pigeon zombies show up, that could be a big issue. So that's what I'm trying to be very wary of at the moment. I'll probably just have to replace some sunflowers for them. There's not a lot of space to go around here. I think I'll put some sunflowers out in the front though. This is like an extra layer of protection. Maybe some umbrella leaves occasionally too. It's a lot, but we're already getting to the third and final flag. So at the least it was a quick level. Maybe we'll actually just be totally fine. And I've been worrying too much about it. You just never know. So I'm just trying to be proactive, I suppose. Yeah, really not too much of a need for the cabbage bolt so far. Um, and as soon as more of these zombies get out, it's time to activate you. Boom, not too bad. Oh yeah, we got this level. This one's totally fine. Not as much of a scare as I thought it would be. We are easily destroying some of this stuff. Awesome. Okay, so we got 48 coins. Not a crazy amount, but it's three tickets, which is enough to listen to these announcements, which maybe will give us a clue on what to do with all this lava. Listen to the announcements. 
You three must be the most inept pupils the Mighty Zomboss Academy has ever witnessed. Have you learned nothing from my lessons? <laughs> Just as your feeble school, you shall fall all fall under my dominion. Fling would have been wise while you had the chance. Soon I shall capture you all. Once I've made my mayoral ascent, I shall transform your succulent brains into delectable pop smarts. Mmm. Ew! No way, Zomboss. Uncle Dave, you've got to rescue us. Preferably before some some Zombrains or Zombrains <laughs> takes the ickiness to a whole new level. I'll have you innate safe faster than you can say clap a doodle dab a luba gooba. <laughs> Time to get to work, trusty flabby clap. Okay, so I guess we're getting the work of building some gangplanks, huh? So to build some gangplanks, we're gonna have to take on level 407, a very hard level. I don't know if we need to use power-ups here. I don't think so. I'm just gonna keep playing and we'll see what we end up getting. If we need to, we of course have the other powers, but it starts us with some plants. The current's moving from left to right, so we just get some uh, free sunflowers, some free lightning reeds. We don't get our own lightning reeds to place though, so that's where we gotta be careful with exactly what we do here but I figure what might be easiest to start with is just getting some bong choys out, making sure they are protected. Seems like a good combo to me. All right, I feel like the water lanes are gonna be the scariest part of all of this, so that is something I'll try to be prepared for. I think a walnut right here would be good. And we got the imp there. We'll get hit by the, um, what's it called, no problem, so that's good. The, uh, the rake, happy to see that. And this zombie once again getting zapped by these free lightning reeds, so lots of value there. I guess for these lily pads, eventually I'm going to want to put walnuts on them or something. Like that might be wiser. Sort of hard to tell at the moment, but I can put this here. Ooh, we also have you. Okay, let's go ahead and just do that. I don't know if I want to be, you know, crazy focused on earning up points for a stage like this one. What I really should be mostly focused on is just going to be surviving. I think survival is a little bit more important. Okay, it looks like I might need some firepower on these. So maybe we just like do that. I don't know. Oh, the invisible imp. Oh no, is in the water over there. I'm just gonna activate the cannon machine. I totally did not see that until it was much too late. That's the danger of the self imp, of course. He can just sneak around. Don't even see him until it's too late. All right, we do have that landscaper zombie coming in as well. That's not so fun. I do think we should get more sunflowers out. Oh, we have the space. And I just wanna make the most out of the lily pads too, so I should probably be putting sunflowers on those. Got that there. A water surge coming in again. Happens slowly but surely, but we're getting there. Okay, this seems like a decent setup so far. Could be better, could be worse. But with the lightning reeds in the center, that definitely makes things a little bit easier to survive overall. Okay, get a one up there. That sunflower got cobbled up, so I just need to do some stuff instead. We have some extra sun. I might as well put it towards more firepower wherever I can get it. It looks like a lane like this probably needs a second bamboo shoot. I wouldn't mind getting an extra one maybe over here. Okay, yep, seems like a good idea. There's so much going on, and I'm trying my best to keep up with it all. There are zombies all over the place as these uh, lily pads push out farther and farther. I think right now, maybe I'll do this and that. Just trying to plan for the future here a little bit as that final wave is already approaching. The candy machine is long gone, so we're just focused on surviving with what we got here. Our Gargantuar, I see him, is marching down this water lane. You don't see Gargantuars in the water lane too often, so we'll see how this one goes. Um, but I definitely just want to, you know, get everything as prepared as I can. I think bamboo shoots right now are the current goal. Because we can just keep knocking him back, and before he can knock out the bunk choy, He's just getting pushed back over and over again. So at least that's something. I will dig up this one then. There we go, okay. Gotta put a new bong toy out there. I think he's gonna be dealt with. We'll see though. Get that there, because I'm sure that water surge might pop up again. Oh boy. Okay, that's not so good. But now we should be fine. 
I don't think it can last too much longer. There we go. A very tough level for sure. A lot of weird things we had to do to keep up with the action, but we did. We made it through and we get 187 coins. I am absolutely gonna double this one. 374 coins for that one. That is quite the hefty reward. Happy to see it. And as you can see, we're all just chilling out in the lava, getting roasted. They don't seem to mind. We still need three more tickets, so let's not waste any more time. We got the lychee for this level. Oh, we're back on Begonia Boulevard. The, uh, the fog has returned. There's so much going on. But right now, I'll put the sunflowers. We'll have to see where that candy machine pops up right in front of us, so that's okay. Should be able to handle that. I think for right now, mostly the goal is just snow peas. Definitely wanna get planters out eventually, but it's not a very hard level. So I think we'll be okay. Got it. And for a zombie, boom, gets knocked out, no problem. Now you, I have to deal with. So I just have to be really dialed in on what zombies are coming in. Make sure I don't miss it, because if not, they're gonna be in the darkness and then pop up on me and I'll be all surprised. I'll be like, oh no, what do I do? I don't want that, obviously, so. I do wanna see, let me slow this down for a second. Another zombie's gonna pop up there. And yet another one over that way. Yeah, there's not much space around in general. That's like the one downside to everything going on here. So I don't know if I wanna do the lychee there. I mean, I guess I don't have too much of a choice. I can put it way up here, but that's not gonna last super long. Uh, one more sunflower for now, just so that we can at least earn up a good collection of sun. And I can also just pay attention to where the, the plants are shooting to get a good idea of what needs to be placed where, but that gets most of it cleared out. I'm fine with that. That's a decent setup. So yeah, for now, not too much lychee. I will, I guess for now, do this, because I need those zombies up there dealt with as soon as possible. They're getting slowed down by the snow pea though, which is always nice. We don't have a ton that can deal with the pigeon zombies though, unfortunately, the pigeon, pigeons in general, they're not zombies, they're just pigeons. But so far we can clear them out okay. Yeah, maybe it would just be worth it then. Just put lychee all the way out in front. Really slow the zombies down that way as we're already on the third flag. Wow, this level's in through super quick, actually. Not as big of a deal as I was anticipating, so it should be okay. There's to beat this one up, and that's not what I meant. Whoops. <laughs> this is the last zombie. That was a lightning fast level. The lawn is clear. We get 49 coins, and I'm just zooming to the next one as soon as we can here. Two tickets down, two to go. So with that wrapped up, before we move forward, it looks like we do have a reward, of course, making it to the very tippity top of the column crash course group reward. And this is a ton of stuff, a bunch of power-ups there, so generous. The higher you get up in the leagues, the better rewards you get. So it's always worth it to you know, try to build that up a bit more. But level 409 over here, as you can see, we're growing our sunflower. We got the wind streak still going. We need two more tickets. So let's see what the lightning reads can get done for us. Okay, so for this one, we know the deal with how we need to lay out the sunflowers. We get some free walnuts, and then it's like a downward um, slope. But that really shouldn't matter for the lightning rings. So I'm totally fine with that. I think we'll be okay. We got some squashes and stuff too if we really need it. And the first zombie will run into a rake. So definitely gonna zoom through this pretty well. It's gonna be an imp that we have to deal with there. Then as soon as the next zombie pops up, boom, lightning read for you. Yeah, I think we're totally fine. This is already a pretty doable setup. I'll just do that right there. And then one more sunflower, and I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'll put a one at farther out. Yeah, something like that would be a better idea, in my opinion. Okay, whoa. Oh, I couldn't play, <laughs> not with the double speed could I handle that one. So keep that in mind for sure but we really don't have anything much else to plant here besides lightning rings, so I probably wanna move the walnuts that the game gave me and just put my own down. Because if not, we're just sort of wasting space, I feel like, because I think that's too far back for the umbrella leaf to really do much. There we go. I'll get another sunflower out here then. Maybe go back to speeding some things up, because we can just get umbrella leaf there. I will dig that up, put that there instead. And of course, the umbrella leaves are just gonna get gobbled up pretty quick most of the time, I think. Okay, you, I didn't I, I didn't mean to do that, I meant to put a squasher, but that's fine enough too. 
All right, everything is getting zapped up pretty well. I would like to just put a walnut right here and then maybe focus on replacing some of these sunflowers for a lightning reeds because what else are we going to do here? As the third flag is coming in, you're going to get bounced away, no problem. Here comes another guy, boom, get bounced. Here comes that third flag. I think we can handle it. I'll take you up, put this here, activate the candy machine so I can get the one up there. Looking pretty good. We'll zap you away. Bucket head or not, not a problem. Awesome. Yeah, except for the very hard and hard levels, we've been zipping through this like nobody's business. But even those levels, we get through them pretty efficiently. So I'm really happy to, you know, see how the game might change strategically once they have the choose your own plants method, you know? Uh, if maybe that'll revitalize how quickly we go through these levels. Cause right now we just, we eat these levels for breakfast, you know? Okay, this is a little bit simpler. We got the campground here. Uh, I will just work on sunflowers. We don't really have too much to get besides peach shooters and lychee, so. No uh, lily pad for this one, unfortunately. That's okay. I think we can definitely speed this one up. And if we get this done, we have all the tickets we need to move forward to the next step of the day. So that will be good. Here comes another zombie. All right, pea shooter here then for sure. I might wanna just double that one up for now, yeah, because more zombies are coming in. Ooh, gotcha. Okay, I see what I might need to do here for that. I think this candy machine is done for. Maybe not. Oh, just barely. So unfortunate. I would have loved if that didn't happen, but it happened. Oh, I should use the Tangle Cup. I'm so silly. I didn't even really realize. So I definitely need to slow things down a little bit here. Maybe rethink some strategies or at least, you know, slow it down so I can actually execute the strategies properly. See, it's like hard to tell which lane he's in. He's a little high up, but I think he's on that very, yeah, bottom most lane. Just a weird thing. I think because of the Weed Whacker and how that makes it line up, it's just a little bit odd. Okay, you know what, for you, I'm gonna use this Tangle Cup. Get a three point takedown on you. That's at least good. I need a pea shooter back here. I need an umbrella leaf up this way. Maybe I should have moved them a little. I feel like if they were one spot back, they wouldn't bounce away the zombie. I'm not quite sure though. Maybe I just do lychee way up there. Would that be better? I guess we'll see. Yeah, I think if the umbrella leaf were one spot back, they just wanted to do enough. Okay. A little bit worried about this whole setup. But I think. I'm good to get more pea shooters out at the least. Maybe I'll move some sunflowers up here just to, you know, get get it going. There we go. And that one landscaper zombies dealt with. Get that there. And then this guy up here is worrying me. I'll put a tangle cup out. He'll get bounced back. Sunflower here, this there. Cool. Okay, so far so good. It's not like the most perfect setup ever, for sure. But it's something. And that's all I need is a little bit of something. Definitely a tank. Okay, never mind. Didn't need the tank up there. The zombie just got knocked out on scent. Uh, you know, let's get another few shooter back here. Because I see all these guys marching in, and it's definitely a lot. Uh, there you go. Lychee. And then I think you're the last zombie right over here, right? This bucket head? Boom, gotcha. A little messy at times, but we got through that level. Lawn is clear, 135 coins for it. Nice reward. All right, all levels cleared for now. That was sort of perfect timing because I think that was the last one I was expecting to have to do. We have the pile of zombies here if we wanted to. Um, but more than that, we have enough to at least build gangplanks. So let's try this out. Uncle Dave? I don't mean to rush you, but this pool of lava is about to burn my butt off. Uh-oh, my space booties are starting to melt. Good thing they were tested on the surface of a thousand suns before I put them on. If you don't speed up the rescue mission, Patrice and I are bound to become the newest dish at the next zombie cookout. Well, on rescue ramp, coming right to up. All right, thank you, Crazy Dave. Building us an escape ramp over the lava. That is great. So, of course, if we wanted to regroup on solid ground, of course we would have to 
wait for more levels. We could play some of these infinite levels. They don't give us tickets though, I'm pretty sure. But as you can see, if you keep doing it, you get some extra infinite brains, which isn't really much of a reward. I'll do one of them just because today's episode is a little bit short and I don't know if I've showcased it too much. But there we go, that's all the levels currently in the game. We've gotten pretty caught up. I don't know if they've confirmed if like the next update is guaranteed to be um, the update where we can choose our plants or if there's gonna be more updates in the meantime, exactly what the roadmap for that is, but hopefully we'll find out soon enough. All right, so looks like over here, we got our first zombie coming in. I just wanna get through this level just to see if it would give us a ticket. I'm pretty sure it just doesn't work that way. Get that over there. This guy, I feel like yeah, they always, I did not mean to press it, whoops. At least I got rid of more zombies in the back there. When they give us squashes like this, like I'd have to just wait around for the, the walnut to get eaten. So it just doesn't feel like a good deal. It's very weird when they do that. Like if it was up here, sure. But back there, I just, I don't want that walnut to get eaten. Here, I'll put this guy here though. Do that, get a snow pea there, get more wanna's out. We should be in a good enough position to win this. Now, I would hope, I guess we'll see. It's a lot of zombies all of a sudden. I'm a little nervous, but I wanna get that there. Oh my, oh my, slow them down, slow them down. That is a lot of zombies, but they can all get, boom, squished at once. The Grapes of Wrath comes in as well. That is awesome. We will be able to survive this. That squash popping up at the perfect time was amazing. All right, get this over here. And that wasn't even the final wave. Okay, I thought it was, whoops. Okay, I'm a little bit scared now, but if I just get more snow peas out, maybe it'll be okay. We'll have to wait and see. Oh my. And you know what, I'll get a walnut down there for you. There we go. Very silly amount of snow peas coming out here. And then if I need to, boom, get squished. Another snow pea, another walnut. That should be enough. Here, I'll do that there. And we're good. Nice. Get one of those stages done. The lawn is clear. We get 61 coins. Not too bad. And we're loading up the next thing, which obviously would just be to com com continue defeating zombies until eventually we get to 100. That's all it is. We don't get any more tacos for it or taco tickets. So when it comes to this, you know, dastardly escape of the lava, we'll have to wait and see what ends up happening. Maybe by this time we'll have the new update. Who knows? But we'll have to wait and see. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 3. Welcome to Zomburbia. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.